Hello and welcome back. So we are back in Starship Evo again and uh, sorry about the wait again. Uh, lots has been going on. I've had some final exams for some of my university studies and I've only really just had a chance to get back into the video making. So I do apologize about that, but I am back again. And I just wanted to show off a few things in this one, mostly regarding the newish station modules. So basically uh, the developer added uh, space station possibilities to the game. Uh, on top of that, we've also had the game release on Steam Early Access, which is big news. So if you haven't picked it up, I do recommend you pick it up now and leave it a good review if you enjoy it. Um, on top of that, we've also just this week, I believe, had Steam Workshop support added, which is also another big bit of news. So that means we can upload our creations and everyone can easily download it and integrate it straight into their game with little to no effort. So a few of the things that you might see popping up in the workshop eventually are some of these space station modules. So these are some of the ones that I've built and uh, I'll take you through them and then we'll assemble them and uh, we'll make a space station out of it hopefully. Uh, on top of that we've also got the uh, Star X salvager ship down there which is finished at last. Uh, well 99% finished, there's probably a few things that could get touched up but I'll do another video on that with a final tour showing off the final features I've put into that. So first things first, we'll just go over some of these modules. So uh, one of the main things that we can do in the game now is make our own custom landing pads, shipyards, uh, docking zones of sorts for ships. And so as you can see down there, we've got a smaller landing pad one, which is meant for more smaller ships, possibly like the uh, shuttle that I've got down there but for some of the bigger ships you're going to need something else something like this so this is my open rib cage design shipyard and the idea is that you can actually modify the uh, shipyard block that's in there which I'll take you to in a minute and you can actually uh, make it as wide as you need or as far forward and back as you need so the only real limitation with this design is the height and so there's only going to be a handful of ships which are too high to be able to fit inside this but basically any ship that is very long or very wide has the potential to fit inside of this docking space and so I've sort of just got a basic design it's got some basic looking you know, fuel tanks there a uh, docking port here so that way the ship can fly up alongside and dock there as well as um, some future integrations I plan on putting in which is a uh, sort of robotic arms that you can slide from a little control room which will uh, look like they're interacting with your ship hopefully so that's something I'm still working on but I got the main shape of the uh, rib yard finished and I'm pretty happy with that so as you can see around here we've got some more windows and then another docking port on this side which is what we will use to connect it to the rest of our space station and on either end here we've got a sub module or a uh, smaller docking port so that way you can um, connect something say like a small uh, repair shuttle that could just uh, attach at the rear there and then fly off and then it can re uh, have repair lasers on it when we get them and hopefully fly around the ship and repair it in that manner. So moving on from there um, we'll move down to this other uh, landing pad module. So this is just another simple module I made. Um, so it's got a basic landing pad, it's slightly uh, wider from this orientation than it is uh, from this direction, so I'll just get my hut up, slightly uh, bigger this way than it is this way as you can see, and that's just because I feel like a lot of ships are going to be longer than they are completely square where they're both as wide as they are long, so um, I just sort of made it slightly different I guess you could say. And so moving inside, um, we'll just slow down our speed here so we're not flying around too fast. We've got a little chair there, we've got some basic walkways around this edge here so that way you can come around to any aspect of your ship that you've got docked here. But for the most part, the uh, main thing you can do is come inside. So I had some little warning messages for this and an airlock cycling light there. So someone can come into the uh, airlock here, they can have a look at the space station from here. Or they're gonna have a look at the ship that's docked here and then there's also a camera just here looking down over the pad generally 
Uh, so these are just some basic controls to uh, lock the door so no one can use the airlock at all. Or you can press this one to open both this door and this door at the same time. Uh, but for the most part, what we're going to want to do is just go in, which will cycle the airlock, it's green, and this door should open. And here we are. Which brings us to this one, which is a very similar room. It's just the middle one, which will go into the main space station here. Of course, there's no airlock cycling for this being open because uh, I didn't integrate that because it should be connected to the rest of the space station. And until we get like air pressurization, there's no real point in uh, going too all out with the airlock designs. But anywho, here we have a gravity block and here we have a shipyard system. So we'll actually um, get our link tool out. If we click on this with our link tool, you'll see where a ship will land. So we'll go out here. As you can see, we've got the blue arrow, which is the direction which a ship will enter from. So it's sort of counterintuitive, it's pointing up, but basically the ship will come from up here and it will go down onto the landing pad in this direction. The red arrow here points to the forward direction of the ship. So the engine, um, the uh, sort of bridge, cockpit, whatever, whatever is at the front of the ship will point this way and the ship's up direction is that way as well. And then the yellow bounding box is just the general bounds of the shipyard. But if you fly a ship generally around here, it will get magnetized by its auto docking and then lower itself down, deploy its landing gear and land. So that's about it for this one. It's uh, got a few uh, communications things, I guess. Uh, a shield array, so that way it can protect your ship. So actually just a uh, force shield rendering. Ooh, there we are. And as you can see, any ship that's docked here has a decent little bit of protection around it, just in case. So it's got enough power and it's got some shields to power this. Well, some power for the shields and the shields themselves rather. Sorry about that. But yeah, as you can see, any ship there will be just about safe for any low level attack. It's not a very strong shield, but you get the point. So we'll move on to this one here. It's closest. It's just a basic hydroponics pod, which I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Got some sprinkler systems, various plants, little walkway, in and out like so. There's a few texture glitches with the glass as you might be seeing, but I'm not really sure what to do about that as uh, this is probably the best way I could achieve what I was trying to achieve with what we have in the game at the moment. And next up is one of my more recent modules. It's still incomplete like most of them are. It's just a small communications module. So it's got uh, room for some screens, communications equipment, maybe a teleporter as well. And then a radar dish which I'll eventually make functional so you can look around with a little camera that will be on the end of it and you can point and look around. But that's that communications one. Uh, this is actually what it all started with, uh, my first module. This is just a small walkway module. So I've gone with a basic design as well for connecting them, which you'll see when it comes together. We've got um, the main airlock here, which is three blocks wide, which can't actually change the size of. It is a predetermined size and shape. Uh, next to it is uh, gravity and power. Uh, gravity to side power this side and then we've got a girder block or support block whatever and then we've got some uh, pipes which just add to the effect of uh, the transport of power or whatever it is just as a sort of a uh, quality of life looking thing and then just a basic walkway with some nice windows etc uh, i need to add some more detail to the roof as you can see it is a bit bland and uh, i'll get to that sooner or later so moving on again, we have this one. We'll go on to this next. So we've got some various other modules. We've got a four-way module there and a T-way module there developed from the uh, simple straight module I've got there. This is a more or less double length straight module, but this is actually one of my sub module modules. So I'm one of the only people I know of that has gone with uh, two different categories. Uh, more could have changed. I haven't kept up to date with the community recently, but I believe I was one of the first to do this where 
I've got the main modules connect on this system where they've got the uh, girders and the connector pipe and then the sub modules as I'm calling them uh, they don't have any connectors they're sort of just a small self-contained unit which go on the side of these more or less for decoration and functionality so whether it be uh, a weapons pod with some uh, weapons on it so these ones here have uh, shields in them power and then the turret control cores and then two turrets themselves these this is just a very basic first version one I've made so more will obviously appear later on um, next up we've got just a general cargo container so not much to it just cargo a little bit of room inside for storage um, and then this one here which is a fuel storage one so once we actually get um, fuel storage containers in the game uh, or gas storage or whatever it is liquid storage maybe and then I'll be able to store some of that stuff in here so th this is just sort of a basic design one and so as you can see there's no sort of girders and pipes and all that around them which you would use to connect it to either end instead you'd connect these ones to these sub module corridors so you could have fuel uh, cargo fuel and then defense pod there and then something else there and this one I just added a teleporter into so I'll update that and make it a bit more fancy but you get the idea and I think one of the last modules we are moving on to oh two more sorry oh three more technically uh, this one here is just a large empty room module so it's still very basic and uh, it's basically just a two-ended few windows on the sides and big open basically the idea is that each room could be spawned in in this manner and then could just be built up from this point so it could be a storage room or have crew quarters or whatever you want depends on the space station style you want but I will have lots of predetermined presets of this room ones with quarters and one with controls operations etc maybe even a weaponized version of this one with big turrets on it and shielding and more power cores in it because it is a bigger unit it can have more in it before it reaches its uh, maximum heat uh, potential uh, this one here is one of my power generating units so these aren't real solar panels they've just been built that way and I'm pretty happy with how they look and you can angle them from inside as well with uh, just these simple sliders here so as you can see that one's there and that one's at that point which angle them to that and then we've also got inside these little pods here we've got some um, void generators to see our power units of the game uh, the reactors sorry no longer void generators just reactors with uh, some capacitors just to uh, have power because eventually hopefully we can uh, transfer power between modules and I won't need these little power and gravity modules on the outer edges we can just have one gravity module at the center of one module which extends across the whole station and then um, various power modules where the power extends across the whole station too generated from modules like this solar panel one here actually the last module I think I've got here before we start putting them together is the habitat module or I'm calling it a hab ring rather so this one will be one of the main ones that you'll only ever find one of these on a space station of my design by, by any chance usually and um, basically all there is to it central corridor you've got power and shield generation and on the other side of the corridor you've got the actual corridor so that way you can get from this um, connector port into the actual ring itself and so you go through there and then you've got oh, right here we've got a room here which will be one of the mini hubs I guess you could say there will be cargo ports and uh, terminals little shops and such at each of these points a docking port here for larger ships to come and dock that are not landing on landing pads and then uh, I can't remember what the green section was I believe green was uh, people's housing so this will be uh, uh, people who live on the space station and people who rent out rooms etc they will live in these rooms in the green corridor and then moving on we've got just here we've got the uh, just another one of these more shops and such 
V4 of the uh, Star X logo. And then moving on, we've got this will be a marketplace hallway, I believe I had it set out to be. So there'll be uh, shops in these ones, and um, just these flat bits of walls, I'll have um, signs where it says, uh, say, uh, weapon store uh, 3B, whatever. It could just have little bits of information and uh, the logo for the store above the door, sort of thing. So you can, there's, uh, I think there's four stores on this stretch here, as well as the stores in general, uh, storage areas and bulletin boards, which will be in these other main areas, just outside the docking ports themselves. Another green corridor for housing, so it's sort of opposite from that side over there. And then yellow, which is the uh, station's mandatory assets. So this will be a big mess hall going from here to here. That will be a kitchen just in through there where they prepare the food for the mess hall. And then things like a medical bay in there. And then another little hub here. And as you can see, gravity generators here and there across the station. So that is my hab ring. It's still very much work in progress, as you can see, but it is coming together just like the rest of these modules. And uh, now I'll just whip around and I'll put them all together. I'll show a few of them off and um, then we'll see how it looks in the end. So in order to connect these modules together, you're going to want to grab one of these tools, which is the connect station tool. So after you've built a few modules of your own, or you've downloaded a pack of these off the uh, Steam Workshop now, or you've found some of the other ones in the game floating around the space that you can fly around, uh, you may want to assemble or disassemble or all sorts of things, these modules. So we'll actually just try and assemble some of these together. We'll increase our speed a bit so we can get places quicker. And I usually like to have the uh, HAB module vertical compared to the rest because it just sort of works a little, little bit better. It looks a bit nicer as well. So I might just uh, connect it to this empty room here. And the way I've got it designed, you can generally line it up. You uh, use Q and E to rotate it. Uh, I've got little landmarks on them, which are supposed to make it easier to tell which way is up. On these things but it's a little bit hard at the moment we'll try that there we are that's the right way up so we've got a little blue square which is up the top but because it's ghostly you can't actually really see the blue square so you just sort of have to look from the other landmarks on this one like the girder lining up to these blocks here and the pipe lining up to that one like so so we've got an empty room there we might add a uh, one of these sub-module corridors. Put that just here. These ones are a bit easier to line up because of the pipe. Like so, you can see it connecting down the bottom of the screen just down there. And there's a nice message now saying docking completed. Oh, that one's the wrong way. We'll try rotating it like that. And here we have it. We've put together a space station. Not the best looking, but it really shows off the potential for procedural generation with just a handful of modules. And if I want more modules, say I want another solar panel module because that one array is not enough for this entire station. All I have to do is come into my blueprints, find the module I want, Spawn it in, wait for it to appear, just there, and then I can come and attach it, like so, and there we have it. 
So it's that simple to put together a space station. You saw some of the modules I've made. Hopefully that gives you some ideas of your own. And now I can fly my ships into here and I can continue to build and I can have other ships like the AI come along and dock at my space station. So anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope that gives you an idea of the stuff you can do in game. I hope you like some of the modules. I hope it gave you some ideas for stuff you can build now that people can get their hands on this game. And I hope to see you in the game sometime soon once we get more larger dedicated servers happening. So I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.